make comments on the report by the majority leader. Honorable Speaker, majority leader here is the messenger. And uh, as you are aware, when the president addressed this house, he requested that we make amendments to our standing orders so that the cabinet secretary would have been addressed. And I think these are the challenges. And uh, it is high time that the House takes this matter of amending the standing orders very seriously and urgently, because otherwise we'll keep on lamenti lamenting and uh, complaining. And as you are aware, I, I was listening to minority, uh, minority Whip. You know he was the chair of the BBI, and you exhausted all the money. Now, this is where we, the, we, the problem which we find ourselves in. So, so there, there is no point oh. of order, majority. We, Honorable, <laughs> the Honorable Dr. Bukose, <laughs> when you get an opportunity to contribute on a matter that is... I'm well guided, Mr. Speaker. Proceed. I, I, I withdraw my, uh, my friend. You know he's my friend, so I was saying that in a light touch. Proceed, proceed. <laughs> Uh, so, Honorable Speaker, I think if we can make amendments to our standing orders, then this issue that we've raised can easily be addressed. But our students are paining, and we are going to January when schools are going to open, and it will really be a big mess, especially for the first-timers who have never even issued any bursary. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I raise my case. The MP for Kwanzaa, what's burning you? Proceed. You are the last one, very last one. Very last one, but I want to say this with a very heavy heart. But, Mr. Speaker, I'm 